Hey, yo, what's up? Um, just a quick video. I've been working on a different project. Why finish a project when you can start another one? Again, this is very messy. Um, it's basically so I, I have my desktop PC and then I have two laptops. Uh, my desktop is at home. It has no legs. It's called Graham No Legs because it has no legs. And then I have two laptops, um, which I got the house with. So using library, one of the th the ways that library works is that it, it works like BitTorrent. So when you view a piece of content, it's downloaded to your machine and then it gets announced and shared to the network so that when someone else wants to watch that piece of content, they will get a little piece of that that file or the information from your computer and in that way it creates this decentralized network um that's great if i just have one device and i use it for everything and on my desktop i have the library client desktop client and that downloads that does all that in the background great uh, when i'm on my laptop i don't have access so when i'm on my laptop my com my desktop computer is is not generally is not switched on so i'm not sharing the things that i've watched and when I'm on my laptop, I don't, you know, I I thought of ways, you know, maybe I could use like sync thing to sync the content. And so that when I'm out of the house, I can continue sharing the things that I've I've watched. Um, but I tried it. It didn't really work out. And then I thought, why not make a project, a decentralized, personally decentralized um, kind of library backend. So what this is, is I have also have a server in the cloud. Um it's you know it's wet in there because it might rain um but in the cloud i have this um uh this i've created this application to go in the cloud um that is just an endpoint that will hit the well first of all it runs the library daemon in on the server and it has an endpoint that if you hit it with a uri it will download that uri and um share it back to the to the network using the daemon so this is what this project is so it's it's made of two parts there's the kind of back end part which i've is also t has two parts there's the um, main flask application that just you know accepts the requests and starts the download and then a polar which i'm not entirely sure how necessary it is um that announces to the network the the files that i have available um so and then the other part of it is i've made a chrome extension that runs in the browser so anytime i go to library tv and go to a piece of content it automatically gets sent to this service um so i'll just go through things a little bit so this is the repo i'll probably change the repo name it's not great as always all my things it's messy this is just me hacking around but i thought i'd share it um so you can go here and you can clone the get the repo so clone with https and you can just get clone oops, get clone the, the url um that's fine so i've already done that uh i've also installed python 3 i've also installed pip and i have installed the dependencies the requirements.txt which are here so I've, I've done all that already just to save time um what the app does so the flask app so if i just do python 3 app it will download the latest SDK if it either doesn't exist or isn't the latest version, and then it starts a Flask server. That's all it does. And then it starts listening on port 5001, which if I go to port 5001 and go to the running endpoint, I just get running true because the daemon is running. So we're connected to the network. Fantastic. Um, so the second thing, so using this, um, well, We'll go on to the extension in a minute. The other script, so if I do Python, well, actually, vim, what's it called? Polar. Let's just change this to every oh, uh, one minute. Yeah, we'll just change that to every minute. And then Python 3, polar. So we've got two things running. So I've already downloaded four things testing this. And this is, it basically just announces the four files so and then tells you if they succeed or not so then the extension the extension is also in the repo it's just the extension folder so you need to download that folder as well uh, and then if you come into your in here it's brave colon forward slash forward slash extensions you need to click on extension mode load unpacked and then just load that file 
and it's already here library.tv remote seed uh the second thing you need to or second i don't know what number i'm on the other thing you need to do is if you go to options you need to set the ip address of this service that's running here so for me it's this this is just running in a vm right now um but it would be the ip of the the server that's running it and you obviously you have to make sure all the ports are like the ports are open that you want to you know have this run on blah 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 but if you're doing this if you're at that level that you're doing this you already know how to do that i would suggest um so you do that once that's updated if i go here and i say okay i want to watch this bit of content from adventure log as you can see over here as i started watching it there's an option post so if i um so look for i've already actually already been on here so four successful announcers so if i just go here again and say okay let's look at brody's latest video so options you're gonna post post me baby no okay let's try it again see i'm still ironing things out options post okay so it posted that time okay so i need to okay it was just a slow post it was taking a while to do so now i've done that when this announce announces again it should have five files because i don't think i've been on this piece of content yet let's see what happens so the beauty of this is that on my desktop and my two laptops all i need to do is install this extension there we go announce five files all i need to do is install this extent extension and it should automatically download any content that i watch from anywhere um i'm not sure i don't think brave has extensions in on mobile I'll, I'll check that and i also need to check firefox extensions one quick thing that i forgot to say is i've downloaded these files and on my server if i cancel and then go in whoop, downloads here are the things that i have downloaded and you can see and i can delete them from here if i want as well uh, i just thought it's probably worth mentioning that it just defaults to your, the downloads folder um but yeah that's pretty much it go here have a look i'll put a link to this in the in the in the description um have a look comment um yeah let me know anything that i can improve i am by no means an expert in any of this um and i need to continually repeat that i'm just a guy hacking around exploring um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you did as it a following tipping if you're on library if you're on youtube like subscribe comment all those things do all the things and you know how much i love a a, a re reshare um oh wait. brody you started playing shouting i am by no means an expert oh scared the shit out of me anyway thanks a lot see you next time bye